the growth really stemmed from us allowing the, the leaders in this organization to kind of spread their wings and go, okay. um, giving some of those guys some flexibility to, to make decisions in their departments has been, you know, tremendously impactful for us. But then, you know, we implemented a series of KPIs that allowed us to make decisions proactively early on in the month, as opposed to waiting till we're doing P and L review. And then as you guys know, you're 10 days into the next month, looking at 40 days ago's performance. And we're looking at graphs and trends, you know, every single day, each leader at my organization is responsible for sending out a series of KPIs for the department that they're in to a group of 20 people so that we can help each other if something isn't matching up. Um, and that really allowed us to communicate more effectively than what we probably had been. And again, incredibly successful business before, but when you open up streams of communication and put people in roles for them to be successful, it, it's, it's like putting gasoline on a fire. Yeah. Yeah. What, uh, if you don't mind me asking and, and what, what key KPIs, I mean, how many do you really focus on? every single day we're not hitting here it's five alarm fire all hands on deck we got to figure this out you don't have you to know the numbers but <laughs> yeah so you know one thing i would tell you that we don't do is i i don't necessarily focus so much on the sales you know which might be counterintuitive to what a lot of people think but i i believe that our sales is a product of everything else that we do well um, from answering the phone to booking the call to getting the right technician there who generates a lead to getting, you know, the right comfort advisor there based on data and their success ratio in that zip code on a single component sale. Like those are all the things that we did. Um, you know, the, the most important one to me that I look at is how many inbound phone calls did I receive on a month to date trend versus last year? Like, that's what I want to know, because that tells me a couple of things. One, are we staying relevant in our marketplace? Do people still think about us when they have an HVAC or plumbing need? Two, is my marketing working? Are my targeted campaigns successful? Three, is there a weather event? Depending upon, am I up? Am I down? Am I neutral? We were having this conversation today because we were down on inbound calls, down on outbound calls, and down on book calls. Yep. And I was asking my team, like, what are we doing? You know, like, not in a bad way, but like, what are we what are we doing? And they said, Brian, last year on the 22nd of August, we flipped from AC to furnace season, and we blew our book call numbers out of the water. Like, you got to be patient with me for another week. You know, so the calls to me is the absolute most important. And then after that, I look at paid tune-ups by area. So non-club member visits, somebody who's calling in and wants their air conditioner tuned up. Those are the those are the number one things because that's the most important call for me is that yeah. paid tune-up, that marketed tune-up. Because everything else is, you know what I mean, like stems from that. It's If I can get in the home to a first-time customer and show them, what a proper super tune-up looks like and provide them options and tell them that we've got plumbing and we offer emergency service and the value of our club membership. Like I have them for life. You own them. Like, yep. I need that marketed tune-up call. That's my, <laughs> that's the driver for every right. location. And then, uh, Bob, I would tell you the next one is we track how many non-club opportunities we get by location every day and then what do you what do you classify as an opportunity 10 year plus no so i'm not talking about the equipment type i'm talking about if you called in you moved into my territory your address shows up that you are not a club member of mine that's how you classify your i wonder because that tells me if my marketing is working. yes yes yeah. Because if you're paying a monthly nominal fee to be on my club membership and like, you're going to call me anyways, if there's an issue. Sure. So that's, 
my number, that's probably my third one. And one of the most important that circling back all the way to the, to the rabbit hole, if you will, is that allowed me to figure out what KPIs I needed to chart out to get back to what do I need to do to get my phone to ring? And, and so that's ultimately, I feel like I cracked a puzzle when I like, when everything kind of aligned and I was like, we can track how many times somebody calls in over last year, you know, and people are always like, well, my marketing's not working. I'm like, well, like, let me listen to some of your phone calls. Like, let yes, yes, hurt. yes, um, yeah. But so those are probably the biggest ones. Inbound calls, marketed two dumps by location. And then I want to know how many club membership opportunity phone calls I have by location. Cause those things tell me, um, is my call center doing a good job? Are they booking calls six weeks out? Like we want them to do with our available club members Two, Am I getting the marketed tune up so that I can convert more club members to where next year, like there's just a, a known fact that I'm going to book them. And then I want to know how many opportunities I have. And then did we capitalize on those? You know, like what's my conversion rate on a daily basis on the month to date trend, you know, and right now we're tracking about 30 plus percent of our opportunities. We're converting into a monthly reoccurring maintenance nice. visit. Um, so yeah, those are the ones, I mean, I, we, I go through, I bet I have 40 or 50 KPIs that roll through every day, Bob, and we do it in a little different way than I would say anybody else has ever gone out. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's probably a whole nother call but it just it that was something that i had done when i got my first engineering manager job at a manufacturing plant was figuring out how i knew that the plant was successful was just creating a here's how many i need every day here's how many i got and then it just charts it out so that early on the third day of the month you can pull some levers as opposed to waiting Um, and that's been incredibly beneficial for us that we can be proactive 